The Great Train Robbery of 1963 stands as one of the most audacious and meticulously executed heists in the annals of criminal history. Taking place in the early hours of August 8, 1963, in rural Buckinghamshire, England, this event has continued to captivate the imaginations of people around the world. The meticulously planned and flawlessly executed operation saw a gang of determined criminals make off with a substantial fortune from a royal mail train. This video delves into the details of this notorious heist, examining the intricate planning, execution, and far-reaching consequences of the Great Train Robbery of 1963. The Elaborate Planning The planning phase of the Great Train Robbery was nothing short of meticulous. Bruce Reynolds, the mastermind behind the heist, was a charismatic and intelligent criminal. His ability to plan meticulously and assemble a team of skilled individuals was a key factor in the success of the robbery. Reynolds and his gang spent several months gathering intelligence on the Royal Mail Train's route, its schedule, and the security measures in place. They meticulously studied the timetables, the crew's routines, and even the internal layout of the train. The chosen location for the heist was the remote Bridego Bridge, near the village of Mentmore, Buckinghamshire. This site was carefully selected for its isolation, minimal police presence, and lack of witnesses. The gang members scouted the area extensively, mapping out their escape routes and getaway vehicles in precise detail. The Daring Execution In the early hours of August 8, 1963, the gang, dressed in dark clothing and donning ski masks, descended upon Bridego Bridge. They had brought with them an arsenal of weapons, including cautious and sawed-off shotguns. The train, known as the Glasgow to London Royal Mail Train, was ambushed at approximately 3 a.m. The robbers used a fake red signal light to stop the train, forcing it to come to a halt at Bridego Bridge. They quickly overpowered the train's crew, who were taken by surprise and subdued with ruthless efficiency. The gang members then proceeded to uncouple the engine and the front carriages from the rest of the train, leaving the rear carriages and the Royal Mail car behind. The postal workers on board were left bewildered and helpless on the tracks while the robbers focused their attention on the Royal Mail car. Inside, they discovered a vast fortune in used banknotes, totaling an estimated £2.6 million, which would be equivalent to over £50 million today. The precision and efficiency with which the operation was carried out was nothing short of remarkable. The Meticulous Escape After securing the loot, the gang made their getaway. The gang had an intricate escape plan involving stolen vehicles. They used a combination of cars, including a Land Rover and a Ford Zephyr, as well as a horsebox to transport themselves and the stolen money away from the crime scene. The gang members split into smaller groups, making it more difficult for the authorities to track them. Despite the widespread manhunt that followed, the gang managed to elude capture temporarily. They sought refuge in various hideouts across the country, frequently changing their locations to avoid detection. The Aftermath and Legacy The Great Train Robbery of 1963 sent shockwaves throughout the United Kingdom. The audacity of the crime and the sheer scale of the stolen money made it a major news story. The police launched a massive manhunt, and rewards were offered for information leading to the capture of the culprits. A nationwide search ensued. Eventually, many of the gang members were tracked down and arrested. Bruce Reynolds, the mastermind, was captured in 1968, five years after the robbery. The authorities managed to recover a significant portion of the stolen money, but a large sum remained missing. The Great Train Robbery had a lasting impact on the way security measures were implemented on trains in the UK. It led to significant changes in the transportation of valuables and mail, with more stringent security measures put in place to prevent such heists from happening again. Conclusion The Great Train Robbery of 1963 remains an iconic and intriguing event in criminal history. It showcased the audacity, meticulous planning, and determination of a group of individuals who were willing to go to great lengths to amass wealth. While the heist captivated the world, it also served as a stark reminder of the lengths some would go to in pursuit of riches and the tenacity of law enforcement agencies in bringing criminals to justice. The legacy of the Great Train Robbery endures not only in the pages of history but also in popular culture. Books, documentaries, and films have immortalized the heist, perpetuating the fascination surrounding this audacious crime. Moreover, the heist left an indelible mark on the transportation of valuables and mail in the United Kingdom prompting significant improvements in security measures. While many of the gang members were eventually captured and the stolen money partially recovered, a sense of mystery still shrouds the whereabouts of some of the missing funds.
This enduring mystery adds an element of intrigue to the story, leaving open the possibility that hidden treasure may yet be waiting to be discovered. The Great Train Robbery of 1963 is a testament to the lengths some individuals are willing to go for wealth and the relentless pursuit of justice by law enforcement agencies. It remains an iconic symbol of audacity and cunning, reminding us that reality can sometimes be as compelling and dramatic as any work of fiction.